Welcome back. These women from Okinawa, Japan have lived in the same community together for 97 years. They live in what's being called a blue zone. Now, blue zones are certain parts of the world where research has shown people live a very long time. And not only longer, but they're healthier and happier. And now there's a group bringing these principles of longevity right here to Wisconsin. And here to tell us all about the Dodge County Blue Zones project are Nick Butner and Kim Miller, the president and CEO of Beaver Dam Community Hospitals and the Blue Zones project sponsor. Welcome to the Morning Blend. Thank you for having us. I can't wait to hear more about the Blue Zones because when you hear that people are living to be almost 100 years old, you immediately want to know what their secret is. <laughs> Well, what we, my brother Dan and I traveled to found five places in the world where people are living the longest life. And what we found is their communities were set up to allow people to move naturally. We found that they had techniques help to help reduce stress that's mm -hmm. tied to most age-related diseases, or they had a strong sense of purpose, reason to get up. A little bit healthier diet, unprocessed foods, more fruits and vegetables in their diet. And what I think more importantly is the way they came together as a community. They put their family first. They had strong senses of faith. Mm -hmm. And also their friends really helped uh, promote healthier behavior. They came together to support one another. And I don't know why this surprised me, but one of those communities was actually here in the United States. In Loma Linda, California, mm -hmm. yeah, right outside of LA. You take the San Bernardino Highway, you got that cloud of smog following you like Pigpen from Charlie <laughs> <Yes>. Brown. <laughs> well, and, I, and I think that we just kind of assume that um, our American way of life would not support you know, right. this kind of longevity, zone. right. It, but the fact that it exists in so close to Los Angeles too is fascinating. It's, it's the home of the highest percentage of seven day Adventists. And okay. what they do is they come together to really again, support each other in their faith, support each other in their healthy eating habits mm -hmm. um, as a community. So when you're saying they, they, they have longevity, what, how many years old are we talking? Right. On a lot of the Blue Zone communities, they tend to live about uh, about 10 times as many centenarians as we do here in wow. America. They hit middle age, mort uh, middle age mortality are no lower than, than they tend to be here. And more importantly in the quantity of life, it's a quality of life. Mm -hmm. So what ideas are you trying to bring home you know, to, to, the, to groups around here? Right, the, the heart of what our projects are with communities here is usually when you look at healthcare, we, we wait till we get sick, Doctor says take a pill or exercise or do a diet. But the problem is diets are hard for us to do. Mm -hmm. Diets are hard for us to keep up. So what we do is we work with communities to try to make the environment a little bit easier, a little bit healthier. Okay. So Kim, then what has compelled you guys to get involved in this project? Well, I think if you look at healthcare costs and where healthcare costs have gone and where they are projected to go, we need to do something different. Mm -hmm. And so this supports people in health and wellness instead of looking at a hospital as a place of just illness and sickness. And so for us, we feel that this is really one of our population health strategies mm -hmm. to support people in wellness and really help them learn. Children learn at a very young age and then parents learning and as Nick said, communities coming together like groups coming together and supporting each other in their journey. Mm -hmm. So you have a Dodge County project. The Beaver Dam Hospital is going to be supporting that. Tell us exactly what that project is and when it is and what it's all about. Okay. Well, we, we're just right now doing the kickoff. We have two more kickoff events this weekend, one in Horicon at 10 a.m. and one in Beaver Dam at the high school on Sunday at uh, 1 p.m. Um, what our goal though is, in the, is to work with the community to help people look at their homes. How do you make it healthier? To give pe break down isolation in community, give people more purpose. Mm -hmm. We work with the community where people work, live, and play to create healthier environments. And then policy in the community that makes healthier foods more affordable, better access, to make our streets easier for kids to be able to bike to your friend's house, to be able to walk to school. This is fascinating to me, and I think it's something it sounds like we should be sort of implementing nationwide. But if you aren't a part of Dodge County, can you come together with a, a particular group and implement, I guess, these strategies within, say, 10 people, 15 people? Can you do that and support each other in the same, not at the same capacity, but to some extent? Uh, definitely. As it turns out, according to the Framingham study, if your three best friends drink too much or are overweight, there's a 150% chance that you are as well. Oh, so okay. how do you That's come together as friends that really support these healthier behaviors, make it again a little bit easier? It's about you. accountability then at the end of the day, right? Yes. It's about supportive networks. Yes. Sure. Yep. So what would you say in your, all your travels was the coolest thing you learned about these blue zones? If you could say one thing, what was the coolest thing? <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough question. Um, 
for me, it was that supportive networks. It was these ladies that the picture you showed earlier, they yeah. come together, get together every night and they've done so for 97 years. Mm -hmm. And they talk about how they get up in the morning, slide open their door, look out to make sure their friends' doors Isn't are open. Isn't that neat? Support each other. I That's do feel fantastic. we live a little too closed in these days. You know, we're in our own little pods, yes. it seems like. So, so Kim, I, I'm guessing you're very confident in this <laughs> program being impactful here in Wisconsin. You think we can be living to 100? We do, yes. <laughs> yeah. We would like to become the healthiest county in the state, mm -hmm. and I'd like to see this travel across the entire state. It's fantastic. Sounds awesome. Thank I think we can see it happening for sure. So uh, you can check out a more a more about the Blue Zones project and the kickoff event Saturday, April 22nd at uh, Horicon High School and also Sunday, April 23rd at Beaver Dam High School uh, on our website, of course, and you can go to bluezonesproject.com to learn more about all of these initiatives. Thank you guys again Thank so much so for much. being Thank here. You.